we have an interesting specimen here. It's a bit filthy, but um, yeah. I came across this when I was actually looking for jetpack for the ZX Spectrum. Now, I managed to get the game. Uh, this is getting expensive for some stupid reason. You know, no idea. I mean, it's a classic for Spectrum. I do love the game itself, but when I found it, I managed to find it. Um, I decided to check the the seller's other items because I tend to, uh, you know, do a bit of postage, combining postage, and you know, so forth. So I decided to do that, and I came across this dude. It's like it was, you know, listed as kind of junk and to be thrown out, not working, so forth. But it's, I just found it interesting. It's a print sound, I've never heard of this, TR-22. And, you know, it's got some nice sliders here. Now, one thing I'm curious about is that, yeah, it's mono. However, it's it supports Chrome, automatic Chrome. What's, but I don't get that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I mean, yeah, it's, it's fine. I mean, it's you know, not, not like, silly to do it or anything but it's just unusual and I don't really see I rarely see stuff like this out. and yes indeed it does have the mono sorry the, the chrome switch on here too so you can see the chrome cassettes that uh, second hole there here now if this is put in there the switch is not you know it goes into the hole so therefore it's chrome now if you put a ferric one in there there's no holes so it presses the switch up which selects it to ferric so that's basically all it is. Now let's turn this on and play this and see, you know, what happens. What's up with this? Okay. That's running really slow. I think this is a matter of belt. The belt is starting to perish here. Dude just decided, okay, it's the it's not doing anything, let's just throw it out. Yeah, belt needs changing this time. <laughs> so let's get into this. This needs a freaking clean as well. And give it a bath. Again, the belt seems okay, but it just seems the belt actually seems a bit loose, to be honest. And I think that is a lot of usage on it. Okay, so let's take this bracket off here. We can get to the belt. Okay, it's easier than I thought. <laughs> but it's, you hold my force on it then. <laughs> Please be one in here of this size larger one here I could see it <laughs> landed on my feet there I think it was just one that was that size so look at these what's this this is the one that came with the uh, that's come from there yeah definitely as lost as elasticity which is probably why okay it's gonna go in the junk let's put this in it seems perfect for it actually so let's screw that back in and do a little bit of cleaning around here because it just doesn't look... I mean, just a lot of dust bunnies everywhere. But actually it's not so bad. I mean, it's actually built well. I have to say, it's built very well. Ah, scared me. <laughs> it made me jump. I can think. 
work for this for some reason. You can loosen it so it spins freer. We can tighten it so it, you know. Well, let's put it where it was. But why would you want? Why would we want to need that? Okay, let's clean the gunk on this. Stuff. the case as much as I can. Let's clean the heads and the um, capstan pinch roller sort of thing and then we just test it out. See if, see if everything is good. I kind of like closed it up prematurely. But I mean I cleaned everything. I did everything I could inside it. Order some more IPA. Completely running out. It's lasted me over a year now I think. <laughs> but I use it a stupid amount so. that <laughs> some serious dirt on the RS head one of the things that is not it's causing it to not record properly and yeah there's some serious gunk on this <laughs> that reminds me of um Asterix in the 12 tasks to <laughs> get that sound. <laughs> if any of you have watched that, you'll know what I mean. And Wayne, yes, you've watched it, so you'll know exactly what I mean. Okay, I need to get that capstan to roll. Okay, great. Game of the um the uh, roller is very filthy normally. Okay, so let's test this, see if this is working at good speed this time. that these are not crackly. I was expecting them to be. But I don't need to spray them. I was gonna spray them, but I don't need to. Okay, so forward works good. Rewind works good. Okay, so now let's record on this. I'll see how good the recording is. Gotta wait for the leader type too. Testing. Wahid at nine, the letter. Well, the record LED is certainly on, that's a good sign. And Ms. Mad Lemon is testing her um, restoration project. And unfortunately, it's no longer in the 80s. <laughs> so, wakey wakey, dude. You've been awoken in the future. 
and this is recording in Chrome, <laughs> which is kind of feels a bit overkill, but never mind. Let's have a look. The meter tape thing. <laughs> hey, it works at least. This thing, واحد اثنين ثلاثة. The record LED is certainly on. That's a good sign. And Ms. Mandelman is testing her um, restoration project. And unfortunately, it's no longer the 80s. <laughs> so, wakey wakey, dude. You've been awoken in the future. <laughs> it's kind of strange recording in Chrome. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I'm not sure why it's needed on a cassette system like this, but hey, at least now I have another. Because the first one, which I repaired and restored, and this one was a bit more involved because it needed more work done on it. And this one's actually my favorite. I, I love it. Uh, this one gives me the 70s vibe. Record playback. Do you know what I'm wondering about this? I'm wondering if this is actually stereo recording that is because it seems to be so we're gonna test this dude out properly and thoroughly along with the cassette which i got with it and also you know do some other tests as well like some uh, recording tests using the sit box I decided to pick up this dude uh, because he was on sale at uh, when I was shopping at Lotharic's online store and uh, I just found it so cute you know the Space Invader on the circuit board is like cute and cool at the same time so I thought hey why not just pick this up as an extra little treat <laughs> good thing about this one unlike the older ones is that you can um, connect something on top of it. It doesn't take up the expansion port completely. You can actually connect another one or connect something else or something like this to this. So everything is just connected and set up. Let's just like turn that on and plug this in. Ooh! Oh wow! <laughs> oh my god, his face and thingy light up. That's so cool! <laughs> just look how cool that is. <laughs> now it's made it even more worth it. I'm glad I got this now. Who was the person who designed this? Was it Lotharic himself? Well, whoever it is, great job! I like it! <laughs> so let's go down to the tape tester and test the levels on this. Yeah, I think it's. I remember it should be here. Oh, it looks good. Yep, recognized it. Okay, that didn't work, and I guess it's because it needs 48 game mode. So, load the quotation marks. Now I should load. So one game of jetpack because I really like it. Oh, five star game. So now I want to try something from the sit box. Those of you who do not know what the sit box is, I'm sure many of you know. Those of you who do not know, I will link you know the playlist here and in the description so you can check it out because the Kickstarter is just around the corner. We're gonna try and sort it out now. Right, so the good thing about the the sit box is that it can load Spectrum games, so it can load tap files. Also, it can load you know screen images. From the spectrum, which is what we're gonna try now because it's nice and quick. Mm. 
And there we go. That's me. <laughs> so now, what I'm gonna do with this is, from the sit box, record it to the actual tape. Here. And from the tape, you know, just to test the recording, from the tape, load it into the spectrum. Should be done recording. Let's rewind that. Okay, so far so good. It's recorded well. That's actually a freaking good recording. You can just tell when it's a really good recording. There you go, that's me goofing around with high voltage. <laughs> I'm impressed! This records very well. Oh, very loud, actually. This one, the, um, this one was way more involved. And uh, yeah, I do love this one. This one's my favorite. You know, it just, it's beautiful. <laughs> this is Big Dude, Big Stem. And this is Prince Dude. <laughs> it's Prince Sound. <laughs> but yeah, both are nice and working. If you wish to watch the restoration of this, uh, then yeah, the link is in the description below. Isopropyl alcohol ruins nail varnish and ruins nail work. Just a warning <laughs> to those of you who want to goof around with isopropyl alcohol <laughs> um, with nice nails. <laughs> I'm gonna have to redo these. Anyway, so success. That's all for today. Thanks so much for your likes, your shares. Do leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my other videos because it's quite a library now. And do subscribe for more. And don't forget to hit that bell icon. For now, big dude, prince dude, and myself, <laughs> we'll say adios. Many thanks to all my patrons for supporting my channel, especially to my huge supporters and top tier patrons, Electronscape UK, Axel Dominator, Robert Minutes, Rich Garwood, and Chris Sebelinski. Do see the video descriptions below to check out my patrons' websites and YouTube channels. Adios!